we're now on part 10 and uh, we're about to collect some nuts sickles and galleons for the dragon tonic and right now we're going to Gringotts Bank to see grip hook this is what a bank looks like instead of humans there are goblins That would be pretty nice to work at a bank. And I do take some business classes in college, so this does kind of interest me. I do take marketing, which is uh, kind of close to business, and I will take some uh, accounting classes, like finance and management accounting. So yeah, now let's talk to Grip Hook. Welcome to Gringotts, Mr. Potter. To access the vault, you must collect all the forms and then hand them to the goblin outside the door. The first vault is on your left as you go through these double doors. Good luck. And also the floor is slippery. Must be the mop and glow. Let's go to the vaults. Then we go to the first door on uh, right here. Do you wish to collect some canuts? Yes, I do. If you wish to visit the first vault, you must complete the paperwork by collecting the appropriate forms. Move swiftly, though, or you will have to start again. So, uh, you just have to collect the paperwork. Just uh, be careful, because the floor is slippery. Just one, one more. And there, we unlocked the door. Now we can collect the coins, the nuts. Good afternoon, Mr. Potter. I'll explain how to steer the mine cart. Swing the mine cart left and right using the directional buttons. The cross button will lock the mine cart to help collect some of the more difficult canuts. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Collect as many canuts as you can to complete the level. So what you have to do is uh, collect some nuts and first you better watch out for uh, obstacles you just uh, want to move out of the way from it and then you can collect some nuts on the way and then uh, watch out for this one as I did miss uh, some coins And such as those, uh, you can collect some gems. And then collect all of them. And if you do hit the obstacle, then, uh, you do get a hit and lose some of the coins. And for this uh, party, uh, you can just uh, hold the X button to uh, keep control of the minecart. Now we did collect some, all of the nuts. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. Care to have another go? We have collected all three nuts, but um... You haven't gotten all the gems, but for this one I do want to collect all the gems, so I will have another go. So 
So now I'm going to collect all the gems now. I got all those gems. And I got this second part. Now let's see if I can get the third one by uh, tilting a bit. And yes, I got them all. Now I can just uh, hold the X button and uh, collect the rest of the gems. Now just uh, one more set of gems. And this is what happens if you collect all 65 gems. Well first, uh, you have to end this, you have to finish first, and then this is what happens. Outstanding! You have been awarded a bonus! And then, uh, let me show you what happens if you get awarded a bonus. You get a wizard card. Should be Ignatia Wildsmith. Ignatia Wildsmith. Let's take a look at it. Ignatia Wildsmith, 1227 to 1320. The witch who invented flu powder. And uh, we will see the flu powder in the Chamber of Secrets later on. And this was like uh, during the... 1227 that's the 13th century it's like a very long time ago 800 years ago so now we've collected all the nuts as we've been awarded a bonus I see you have a cannot coin do you wish to try for the sickle now? and now let's go for the sickle if you wish to try for the sickle coin you must gather the correct forms again so um, this is just like uh, collecting the forms for the nuts, and I just missed that one, and I got it. So um, if you do uh, if you don't collect all the forms on time, then you have to start over. Let me make, see if I can get them all. Just slide down. And I made it. So now this is just the second part of the minecart. Hello, Mr. Potter. I understand you're quite expert in the collection of canuts. I wonder if you'll prove as talented at collecting sickles. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine. I already know the Mr. rules. Potter, there are many obstacles in. Remember, swing yep. the mine. Good luck. So now uh, it gets more harder. And uh, instead of uh, 65 gems, there are 55 gems. Just get those here. Now let me just tilt to get those sickles. 
then tilt again, and then go that way to collect the gems, and I got them all. Now it's gonna get faster. And then, uh, there are at least uh, two loops uh, involving getting the gems. And then, uh, the rest of them go straight. for the next loop. Ah, and I missed them all. So I don't get my gems this time. Congratulations, Mr. Potter, you have succeeded. You want to try again? I will try again until I collect all the gems. That's the only loop I have a hard time getting the gems. Just this one. The rest, uh, pretty uh, good at it. Right now, let me see if I can get those gems in that loop. Got all the coins and. I got all the gems, yes! Finally, now I have to keep hold. Collect those last gems and I've been awarded a bonus. Mr. Potter, what can I say? I'm overwhelmed. That is one of the best performances I have ever seen. I'm not telling you how many tries it took, but it took me about uh A few tries. Whatever. Bertie Bot. This should be Fred and George's favorite card. Because they are fond of Bertie Bot's every flavor beans. Bertie Bot. 1935 to present. Inventor of Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. And of course, uh, it's Fred and George's favorite card. And uh, he's around the same age as John Madden, who is, uh, who uh, made the uh, Madden NFL games, such as Madden 25. Uh, the two Madden games I have are. Madden 09 and Madden 12, both on the PS2. Uh, I might uh, show a playthrough of those games, uh, maybe for a Super Bowl prediction. I could do the same thing with uh, MLB 2K13. If the Red Sox uh, make the World Series, then I could do a World Series prediction against the team that they're playing. So now let's uh, collect the galleons. Excellent. Do you have a sickle coin now? Do you wish to try for the galleon? Yes, I do. If you wish to try for the galleon coin, you will have to collect the correct forms again. This is the last time you'll be collecting the paperwork. And it will get harder. And uh, don't get confused, because... You could get confused of going the other way, but you actually have to go uh, this way. And there, let's uh, go for our last coins, the galleons.
Ah, the famous Mr. Potter. You have quite a reputation down here, sir. Why, thank you. The other goblins are convinced you'll steer the mine cart easily. Steering is still left and right on the the cross button. Look, be careful, Mr. Potter. There are bonus gems here. So I get the whole picture, and let me just go for the galleon. And this will get hard. You have to tilt to get the coins this time. Let me go through this loop. And I got all the gems. Lucky I didn't get hit. Now this one's hard, you have to tilt to get the gems. And I just missed a gem, come on. So I got everything, I uh, just missed one gem. Very well done Mr. Potter, you have collected your galleons. Do you want to try again? I got all the galleons except I missed one gem. That's uh, the only part I have a hard time, but in here I do uh, Get used to uh, with the loops. I get used to collecting the coins with the loops. And uh, I'm gonna try collecting the gems again. Try not to miss a gem. And I didn't miss a gem. Now all I have to do is uh, get the rest of the gems. It should be pretty easy. I don't know why, but getting the gems in here is kind of easy for me. Uh, all I have to do is keep the minecart locked. And I've gotten all the gems on the second try. And I don't even have to cut the last one. I 
don't have to cut the some parts in this last minecart. Cause I got on the second try. Goodness gracious, I'm lost for words, Mr. Potter. I have never seen anyone handle a minecart as well as you do. And then uh that's it. Is that Helga Hufflepuff or Rowena or even Claw? Sometimes I forget. Helga Hufflepuff. It's Helga Hufflepuff. The last two cards are the founders of Hogwarts. Sometimes I get them confused by where they are. Helga Hufflepuff. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. And of course, uh, she found the... She gave her name to the Hufflepuff house. So now we got all the coins. So let's, uh, go back to Diagon Alley. But first we'll see Grip Hook. And also, uh, one more thing. You cannot go back into the vaults. Because, of course, you got all the coins. And, um, they're also locked if you, uh, after, uh, even after you didn't get the bonus. So if you didn't get the wizard cards and the bonus, then you can't go back. So that's why it's recommended that you have to save before uh, going to the minecarts to the vaults so now let's talk to Griphook you've collected all three coins now Mr. Potter I hope you spend them wisely and I will I'm not going that way I should go to Diagon Alley So I was Cradle Rides, and uh, next time we meet, we're gonna collect the parts for the Dragon Tonic. See you then.